I'm Chuck Kuala, former Senate Majority Leader. And I'm Scott Jensen, former Assembly Speaker. And we're the insiders. So Scott, Governor Thompson has been operating the University of Wisconsin for about a year, and, and he's talking like he wants to have another year. Uh, how is that going to go? Is that going to happen? And what's gonna, what is, how is the Board of Regents going to react to that? Well, I hope they extend uh, Governor Thompson's tenure at the, uh, as the president of the UW system. And I think it's wise for them to do so. So I'm guessing that they will. Um, I can't believe a brand new majority uh, of Evers appointees that their first action is going to be to fire the beloved former governor of the state of Wisconsin. I'm not sure that would be a good way to start as a majority on the Board of Regents. But the reason it's in their interest is that Governor Thompson is wrestling with some really difficult issues at, at uh, higher education right now. All over the country, higher education is going through some difficult choices um, about how education is going to be delivered, how much it's going to cost. Can we have this huge infrastructure that we have had before, or are we going to have to change the way we uh, conduct higher education? And I think it'd be smart to let a guy with all the political capital that Tommy Thompson has make those tough decisions and then let an, a new Evers appointed president show up when the tough, a lot of the tough decisions have been made. So that person has a fresh start and a honeymoon and they don't have to be saddled with all those tough decisions. Thompson has the gravitas, the credibility in the state to tell people we've got to make some tough changes. Uh, a, a brand new person there who was an Evers appointee wouldn't necessarily have that. Well, uh, sometimes what's happening is not a clear indication of what's going on politically behind the scenes. And here's the, here's the downside to what Scott is talking about. What's happening here is a very ugly situation for the Board of Regents, and that is the chair of the committee in the Senate, uh, Roger Roth, is, is holding up appointees of Governor Evers. And he is asking, he is not asking, he is requiring that they state in writing that they will, number one, vote to extend Tommy Thompson for another year as head of the university, and number two, that they will vote for Michael Grieby to be the president of the Board of Regents. Michael Grieby, as most people who will watch this program know, is a major donor for Republicans and has over the years just been a massive supporter of, of Republicans and of the rather right side of the Republican spectrum. This is not right. It's unprecedented. Never has a committee chair said, you must in writing agree that you will do these things or we will not put you on the Board of Regents. It's wrong, it's improper, it should not be done. In fact, I would say that this is corrupting the independence of the Board of Regents with partisan coercion. It is a new low for the Republicans and they have set a lot of lows. I am disappointed, but more than that, I, I am outraged that they would try to do this with the one area of state government that still had some elements of bipartisanship left in it. And Tommy Thompson was a part of that. But what the chair of that committee is doing and what Republicans in the Senate are doing is wrong. It is unprecedented, it is a corruption of the independence of the Board of Regents. And I am sad to see that even that area of our state must be brought down by partisan politics. I'm saddened. Well, I, I would say I think the uh, actions you're describing are unnecessary. I, I, I think the kind of appointees that we're seeing to the Board of Regents, both in the Walker years and now the Evers years, suggest uh, folks who should be able to work in a collegial fashion with art uh, and on Governor Thompson's huge credibility when they have to make some of these wrenching decisions and then hand it off to someone else uh, who can who can make those things happen. So I, I think it's going to, um, I think the governor's going to have another say, another year or two. Um, and I think that's a smart thing for Wisconsin going forward. We'll see you next time.